Six states, five days, four Romney buses. That's how Republican hopeful Mitt Romney unofficially kicked off the fall campaign season Friday with a bus tour of small towns in a handful of battleground states. I spent the last couple of days with the Romney campaign on a tour called Every Town Counts, and so far it has taken Mr. Romney to some uncharacteristic campaign stops. Instead of empty factories, he and his wife Anne doled out ice cream in New Hampshire. And in rural Pennsylvania, Mr. Romney ordered his first sandwich from a Wawa kiosk, a touchscreen computer that speeds up the ordering process. I was at Wawa's, I wanted to order a sandwich. You press a little a touch tone keypad, all right? You just touch that, and you know, the sandwich comes in, you touch this, touch this, touch this, go pay the cashier, there's your sandwich. He even found some time to mess with his traveling press corps. Mr. Romney left a note on the press bus in Pennsylvania joking that he had erased our hard drives. The bus tour marks Mr. Romney's first substantial campaign swing since he effectively wrapped up the Republican primaries. It's also one of the first times he's campaigning in rural areas places he didn't perform very well during the primary season. The Romney campaign hopes to orchestrate a handful of other bus tours this summer. Like most road trips, this one has had a few hitches. Protesters greeted Mr. Romney at a handful of stops in Ohio and Pennsylvania. And at an Ohio pancake breakfast, voters and reporters stood in the rain for about an hour waiting for the presidential candidate. For The Wall Street Journal, this is Sarah Murray.